Hello and welcome to this Nice Vibrations tutorial. I'm Rano from Our Mountains and today we're going to have a look at how to install Nice Vibrations and what the asset contains. So the first thing you want to do is open a new project or maybe open one of your projects and uh, right now I'm in an empty one. It's called Test Nice Vibes and it only contains uh, the default scene that Unity creates. So now what you want to do is go to the asset store and in the search bar type nice vibrations you click on this and assuming you've bought the asset you can now click on download or import or whatever unity puts here um, you're going to be prompted whether or not you want to use the package manager dependencies that come with the asset if you don't want to use gamepad rumble you can skip but if you do want to use Gamepad Rumble, you will want to click on Install Upgrade, which is going to install the uh, input system package from the package manager. And once it's done, uh, you get this window. So it's the Import Unity Package window. You click on Import in the bottom right corner, and then you wait. And that's it. Uh, you'll get a log that says packages were changed. And more importantly, you'll get the nice vibrations folder right here. And I didn't mention it, but I'm running Unity 2019.3.0 F6, which is uh, at the time I'm recording this video, the latest version that was released. And this gets me the latest version that was released of nice vibrations, which is uh, as mentioned in the readme file version 3.0.1 so once you've installed the asset you should get this folder structure so you'll see that we have a bunch of folders we've got common which contains all the scripts that are required to trigger haptic feedbacks on both android ios and gamepad it is strongly recommended uh, not to remove anything from this folder because it is bound to cause issues. So unless you really know what you're doing, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing so. Then we have the demos folder, which as the name implies, contains the demo scenes that showcase the potential of the asset. Uh, in its common, so we, we have two common folders. Uh, this one is the demos common one. Uh, you'll find the scripts that are used in most of the demos to handle the UI and other common features. And in the old folder, you'll find the version one demo uh, for nostalgia purposes, really. Uh, it used to look like this, and it was much, much more simple than uh, what we have now. And what we have now, you can, you can see if you go to the nice vibrations demo, this one, and you'll want to make your game window something like uh, iPhone 7 portrait or iPhone X portrait or anything that is portrait because um, it was meant, it was designed as a mobile demo initially, way before the gamepad rumble support was added. So uh, if you wanted to display properly, you want to have your game window somehow portrait. And this is uh, the contents of the demo. So you'll find that we have a first demo called uh, Wobble and I'm, I'm going to press play so I can demonstrate as I speak. So the Wobble demo is uh, made of tiny wobble pads that trigger a pre-configured advanced pattern when touched. And they also do a sound. So you can also sort of use that as a weird touch guitar that, that makes you feel good when you touch it. And uh, then we have the ball demo and the ball demo, I'm gonna turn on the sound. Uh, it's of course meant for vibrations, but pretty hard to make you hear vibrations on a PC. So it's a bouncing ball really that triggers a transient tactic every time uh, it touches the ground and the strength and sh the intensity exactly and, and sharpness of that haptic is based on the speed of the ball at the moment it touches the ground or the wall. Then we have advanced patterns. So. Um, this one lets you play with nine pre-created by me advanced patterns uh, that were designed to match the sounds that uh, you're going to hear. So let's say I 
play the dice. Now you can hear the sound of the dice or the sound of drums. But uh, if you were to hold that in your hand, you would feel uh, vibrations that match exactly this sound. Then we have the continuous demo. So this, this one lets you define a duration, an intensity and a sharpness, and you can start playing this, but you can also modulate as you go the sharpness and the intensity. And you can see that all that is reflected in these panels. Um, very similar one but uh, with a bit more feel added to it is the the car engine one so it's more of a tiny game it doesn't do much except make these wheels turn and you're gonna get a continuous haptic based on the strength of the engine and you also get tiny transient haptics every time you pass uh, one of the knobs stop points then we've got the transient demo so a transient haptic is a short controlled haptic feedback that uh, you can experiment with in that demo. So similar to the continuous one, you can define the intensity and sharpness. So intensity would be uh, sort of the volume and the sharpness would be how, how soft or uh, sharp really the, the, the feedback feels. And so every time you trigger one, you get a different result. And then we have the base presets, which are uh, very much what was uh, in version 1.0 of Nice Vibrations, uh, plus the rigid and soft ones that I don't think were there at the time. And these are mapped on the iOS guidelines. So Apple defined very much when it introduced haptic feedback and the Taptic Engine. Uh, it, it defined success and warning and failure haptics, which are very short patterns made of transient haptics. And Apple recommends that you use them to signify to the user that uh, an operation was successful or failed or stuff like that. So um, nice vibrations will also let you trigger these on Android and on gamepad. And just like everything else in nice vibrations, it's really unified. So you can you can use them. These are very simple stuff that I would recommend for UI. While uh, pretty much everything we've seen before would be probably more suited to gameplay or something more um, uh, demanding than just these presets. So that's pretty much it for uh, the contents of the asset. Uh, the, last, the last part is the third party Newton soft. So this is used to decode JSON. You could decide to replace it with another JSON library if you want. And you will also find a Unity package that contains the previous version of Nice Vibrations. Well, it's now two versions or four versions behind, but uh, for nostalgic people that really liked v1.7 uh, this was requested so you know i obliged uh, it's available here and in the next video we'll see how you can actually use that in your scripts i hope you learned something new today and i'll see you in the next video bye